Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over a little bit more about the 3D viewer, uh, specifically about bringing in parts that don't already exist in your libraries. So a lot of the times you're going to be, be able to, if you're using the KiCad official libraries, the 3D libraries will be actually pulled in with it. And that's a really, really convenient thing here. Sometimes if you're making a custom footprint, if you're making a custom 3D model, or if you're just using a footprint that doesn't happen to have a 3D model with it, you'll need to actually import the 3D model. So let's go take a look at what this looks like. We're going to do a really simple one here. This is from the board we've been looking at. And the first things first, we're going to just grab this five pin. So this is a 0.1 inch header, 2.54 millimeter header, five pins, pretty standard. To be completely honest, I could go and delete this older model that I have in here, this older footprint, and I could import the KiCad footprint and it would be fine. Like there's an official five pin footprint, it'd be fine. But because this is pretty, pretty certain to be existing and modeled already online, I'm going to go and try and find that. So let's go and do that. We're going to search for Five pin, 0.1 inch header, 3D model, right? That's just a generic term. You're going to be have to be able to do, you know, a. There's a wide range of searches that you may or may not, uh, may or may not work. Uh, I found things like Snap EDA, uh, uh, GrabCAD, similar stuff like that. 3D Content Central, even uh, DigiKey's doing this some now too. So all these things are pretty good. Uh, so let's go and grab this first one here. I'm going to go to GrabCAD. I did have to sign in, and that's probably the biggest thing you'll have to know here is that uh, a lot of these sites, they require that you have an account. So, you know, you can make an account or make a fake account or whatever you want to do, uh, but uh, they're going to try and basically pull you into their ecosystem um, and give you tours and stuff like that. So in this case, this is actually a wide range of pin headers. So this is actually a bunch of pin headers here. Uh, you see they have, each one has a, a different model. So 1 by 7, 1 by 5, 1 by 8, 1 by 8, right? So basically we're just going to download all of them. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to extract it. Uh, let's extract it somewhere else. Let's just go to my desktop. And then in, is that done? There we go. Okay, it's extracting all the files. You see these are all step files, so that's good. That's what we want. We do want step uh, STEP or uh, .stp files. And then when we go back into KiCad here now, we actually are going to be in the layout. So first things first, let's just go and look. Alt 3, and we're going to open up the 3D model here. You see that there is no uh, model for this thing. And oh, and there's no side either. This is still set up from when I was doing the, uh, the uh, blind and buried vias. Okay, so... Um, so yes, we're going to import that footprint here. Now, the way we do that is we mouse over, the, we select the component, mouse over it, hit E. And now in here, we're going to go into 3D settings. And you see it's, it doesn't, it has a shape, but maybe it's just not finding the, the footprint or something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to add 3D shape. And we're going to do this by going to the uh, desktop. Of course, this is set up like uh, for a Linux system, so you might have to do a little bit of, uh, you know, finding your folders and stuff like that. I guess I should have just put it in my documents folder. All right, there we go. And we want the one by five. And we can click and drag it around. And so it is, looks like that is the one that we want. Okay, hit OK. And now here's the key thing is that oftentimes, so we make this a little bit bigger. Uh, oftentimes the, the footprint and the 3D model do not necessarily match up together. And that's a little bit frustrating, but it's just kind of, where everybody sets up their zero zero and the rotational. So I'm just clicking with the left button and dragging around here. Again, center center button to pan. This should be very similar to the 3D model. So what I want to do is I want to rotate. What I'm guessing is the 90 or the x direction. Let's try that. Okay, so that was wrong. <laughs> so it's probably going to be in the z direction here. There we go. And so rotating in the z did bring it in line with the footprint that we have there. We can see that it is pretty well aligned there. So it's basically that you know one of these pins was they were both set as zero zero probably on pin one here. Looks like yeah, this is probably pin one. So both said okay, pin one zero zero is zero zero. That's where that starts. But saying which way it starts to rotate uh, and where the coordinate axes are, that was not certain. Now we hit okay. Now if we go back to our 3D model, we see that we do have the 3D model in here and we do have the bounding box, which is an option we showed in the preferences when we went over this stuff. So this is uh, show bounding boxes. So we can turn that off if we want to. There we go. So now we just have the 3D model, and uh, it looks pretty good. Now this can be a little bit tedious if you have to do your entire board, right? So if I had to go, I mean, this is a pretty low component count board as well. But if you, 
you know, this is an argument really for using a lot of the official libraries, in my opinion. I think that that, uh, that brings out, you know, if you're using the SOIC from the official KiCad library, you know, you should always check the m measurements to make sure it matches up with your footprint, your drawing, uh, the footprints on your, your data sheet. But once that is checked out, it, you know, you, you make sure that you have the right package. It's not a wide package when you have a narrow package or anything like that. I think it is a good practice to, to utilize that, especially, you know, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of 3D modeling stuff. Otherwise, you know, you have to do a little bit more work to bring in 3D models, but it, it does end up, you know, having nice, nice effects for rendering and even uh, 3D clearance type stuff in the future. So we'll be doing more 3D stuff in the, in the future here on uh, Contextual Electronics and the videos we show here about KiCad. But if you have any other questions about it, you can always go over to our forum. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. If you want to know about why you should be using 3D models in your designs, why you might want to, uh, you know, do modeling at all. And <laughs> we teach this stuff uh, in contextual electronics. We do 3D models. We do electronics design. We do product design. And we do how electronics work, really. So that's something that we do over the course at contextualelectronics.com. If you want to learn more about the features and discuss the features, you can always do that over the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info. And we'll have more videos here at Contextual Electronics. Thanks for watching.